What is up, Nutsacks? JJ back here from Run Pure Bets with another free pick for you. This time it's going to be a Major League Baseball for Tuesday, August the 3rd. Game is going to be played between the St. Louis Cards and the Atlanta Braves. Current betting spread is Braves minus 125, total 8.5. Uh, it was nice cashing uh, Friday night's play. Nats as a small dog, plus 110. Even if you bet them, you know, when the line reposted at, one, at minus 110 or you waited until it was 130. Um, first five cashed as well. Lay the half run, whatever you want to do. Regardless, it was a nice win. I did tell you guys in the video that I did like this first five, even if this reposted. Um, boost these plays back over 10U, 23 and 12, plus 10.3U. Um, I also came out of the grave uh, to beat my dad, a.k.a. the Fax Man, in our little 10-game duel, if you will. Beat him by a few units. I finished at 6-3-1, and one, um, including digging myself out of a 5U hole between him uh, he finished at five and five, but his last pick was a big dog because he had no other choice. Uh, as that was, you know, his only chance to try to win at that point. That's where I was good. Now let's talk on the bad. Uh, two live show plays this weekend in MLB. Both lost right at the number. Um, I often say I'd rather be wrong on a game and lose by twenty runs than a nail biter with a photo finish. Um, either way, look to bounce back here. Um, as you can see, rocking my uh, my guy Angelo's shirt, good forty. Also back in the gym these days, pumping iron. Um, no, it just kind of feels good to be back, um, you know, back on the healthy lifestyle kick, right? Uh, a few weeks in quarantine can kind of change things. So either way, glad to be back. Uh, for this spot, let's get right to it. Instead of me jerking you off, I'm targeting a first five here. Uh, over four and a half runs. Uh, again, Cards Braves. Got this minus 115 DK in New Jersey. Juicy spot here. I think this full game should be nine um, at heavy vig, like 115, 120-ish. Instead, we get eight and a half, which opens up the first five at four and a half. Um, let's start with the pitching here. You know uh, it wasn't too long ago. I was doing a video on John Lester in a Nats uniform, maybe like four days ago. Um, here, he's now pitching on now 10 days rest, or about 10 days rest, give or take. Not the biggest of deals, but it's proven how much pitchers can be creatures of habit, right? The extra rest, not likely great for him here. If you guys remember from a few days back, uh, Lester loved pitching at home in Nats Park. Much better home road splits, but now that he has a new home, I'm not sure how relevant that data is anymore. Here's what we know about Lester, right? He gets absolutely mauled by righties, and he is brutal versus lefties. Uh, really good versus lefties, just to be clear. Bad versus righties. Uh, he actually has some of the worst numbers in the league with the sample size he does uh, versus righty sticks. And again, this sample size is far too big to ignore. Nearly a weighted out OBA of 400 uh, versus right-handed bats, which brings me to this newly refueled Braves lineup. Ozzie Albies, uh, who swings much better versus lefties. Austin Riley, Swanson, Duvall, Heredia, who they platoon. And oh yeah, Freddie Freeman from the left side if they decide to start Peterson from the left side as well. Um, you know, not many free outs here, especially for a guy like Lester who really struggles versus righties. Let's move over to Max Fried, uh, who has had quite a bit of regression this season from last. Nothing major, but certainly some glaring numbers in a negative way. Weighted OBA up over 300 to both lefties and righties. Severely struggles on the road. Another situation where the sample is growing too far to ignore with these road numbers. His batting average on balls in play likely comes down uh, from here, considering it's at 320. But I'll tell you what, if his line drive rate stays where it is, um, it might not. 23% line drive rate, 27% hard contact rate. When he's not getting ground balls with the slider, um, or when he is getting ground balls with the slider, he's great. But he's quite the opposite when he's not. This Cardinals lineup really let down this year, though, right? I mean, you look at the names on this team up and down. And sure, some of them are older, right? But not all of them. Um, you wonder how, like, any pitcher survives here. And yet, nearly every night, pitchers do well against this Cardinals team. Um, they have lefty mashers up and down. And, and yet they sit 21st best in average versus left-handed pitching and 20 total home runs, uh, which is just crazy versus lefties this season. It's almost hard to fathom. I mean, you would think Goldie and Arenado alone could have 20 home runs versus left-handed pitching up to this part of the season. Um, you know, as a team, though, they only have 698 ABs at-bats, as cool kids say, versus lefties, which might seem high, but it's actually by far the lowest in the majors, by over 200 at-bats. Uh, ironically, who's right behind them? The Atlanta Braves. Sample size is large enough to be concerned, but all these numbers collectively, I think, is what's keeping this number low. These two pitchers in this park weren't a total up past nine, especially in warm weather, and yet here we are, eight and a half, Speaking of weather, a little 80-degree night in Bush Stadium. Wind expected to be blowing slightly in. Nothing crazy. This isn't weather I would consider that, like, helps in overall that much, but certainly doesn't hurt it. Um, I prefer first five because these pens aren't terrible. Um, I know. That's a great reason, right? 
Um, but if this game is close late, I don't want to see top 10 arms from both these teams. Both are in playoff contention. Every win matters. Um, they're both trying to sneak into the wild card. Only alarming part about this game is you do have two ground ball pitchers going at it. This isn't usually a spot I target. Um, this, of course, could lead to many outs and an above average amount of double plays, but it's hard to look past certain numbers here, especially the ones I've referenced. The way this Brave lineup is, Braves lineup is constructed, they're just built to put a ton of pressure on left-handed pitchers with low K rates. Um, they have a ton of guys that go hacking, but Lester does not exactly ring them up these days. Freed has terrible road numbers and will not have many free outs uh, in this one. Cards have really underachieved batting-wise this season, though, but it is part of why this line is 8.5 versus 9, which I would feel very confident this would have been the first few weeks of the season. All these items collectively are why I like this spot. So again, first five over four and a half runs. Got this minus 115 DK in New Jersey. May the odds be ever in our favor. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Create some fake accounts more, thumbs up. Uh, if you did not enjoy, I hope you all, excuse me, the agenda, excuse me, the agenda. Hope you all fall on a Lego piece. Uh, as always, drop comments below with your thoughts on the play. Let me know who you're betting for tomorrow's slate as well. Feel free to comment, folks. Don't be shy. Don't be a stalker. Dive into the water here. It's warm. Um, I always get back to you guys as well, so don't be shy for the last time. Um, we also have content lined up all week on this channel, MLB, PGA, tennis. So be sure to check it out. Joey has you covered a few nights in bases or the next few nights in bases. I'll be back tomorrow doing some PGA with the DFS crew. Wednesday uh, for tennis with spread, and then Thursday night again with bases for Friday. Until then, be sure to gamble responsibly. Stay safe, folks. And thanks again for watching.